Welcome back to my channel. This is Ruben Lardizabo. I want you to think of a two-digit number. Are you thinking of a number? Okay, two-digit. I want you to add those two digits together. Add. Addition. Add. Are you done? After that, I want you to multiply it to a bigger number, let's say, multiply it by 9. Okay, you have the answer. Get a calculator if you're having difficulty. Okay, so multiply it by 9. Then you have an answer. I want you to add those digits together. So you have those digits. If you have 3 digits or 2 digits, add them together. Look into my eyes. And your number is actually 9. Am I right? This is mind-boggling because I have here a deck of playing cards. And you chose your number is 9. I'll count the ninth card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are all different. The ninth card is the queen of hearts behind my back and back behind me is actually a very big card oh bummer thank you Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Ruben Lardy Zabel. If you're new here and you like magic, do consider subscribing me down below and press the bell button for the notifications for more of my latest magic videos. So guys, did my virtual mind reading abilities work? Comment down below if your number is 9. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my video today. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you the hot shot. It looks like this. It's a scissor cut. Then card watch so that is the hot shot let's get into the tutorial so guys this is the hot shot tutorial first you have to learn how to do the scissor cut okay this is my way of doing the hot shot performing first the scissor cut okay so first and foremost you have to have uh, this is the mechanics grip okay you just put your pinky here and that's good to go so first and foremost, you get, just have to lift it like this and make sure to put your pointer finger here on the left corner of the top, left corner of the deck and then just twist and then your thumb will cut the upper half of the deck and then just twist, extend your hands like so and then re-grip. It is very very difficult to do this in slow motion. So you have to do this as quick as possible. Okay? So again, like so. Pointer finger. Okay? It's like holding like this. Then your middle finger and pointer finger are the pressure points. And then just your thumb would just cut here on the bottom right corner of the deck deck then just twist your three fingers are just relaxed just to support this corner here and then cut like so your point finger will just let go so why this is called the hot shot I don't know <laughs> in my days it is called the hot shot because of this move for you pop out a single card like so okay so again uh, let's do the scissor cut perform the scissor cut that's why it's called a hot shot because you're going to pop out a single card on the bottom and then just 
pivot it like this and then your middle finger will just flick you can actually feel don't you know don't put a lot of pressure just relax and just a quick flick with your middle finger it will fly onto your other hand and when you get to practice this a lot you can actually just boomerang it on the or other hand okay so just apply just a bit pressure here on the right corner of the card and then just your receiving hand will catch it okay it's very difficult here to perform it but I'll try my best like so you have to catch it okay so again do the scissor cut so your pointer finger look closely will just push your middle finger will push your pointer finger will support it to pivot it at an angle like so all right so it one more time here one two middle finger pushes the bottom card then your right pointer finger will just pivot it support the card to do an angle like so and your middle finger will now ready to pop it out okay so let's do it one more time okay one two three four middle finger pointer finger make sure this is the position not like that but this okay and then again you can actually just feel it your middle finger will just flick here down downwards okay if you flick it hard enough a lot of pressure you can actually pivot it on the other side so that you would have a boomerang effect like that you can actually fly it as high as you can it's just adding pressure okay so that is the hot shot you know I usually use this you know you control a card to the bottom let's say it's king of diamonds and then do the hot shot the scissor cut and do the hot shot and let's say it's their card oops sorry <laughs> let's do it one more time cut pivot it and then this is actually their card and then voila your card that's very you know it's very difficult to perform guys so you have to practice this a lot the scissor cut uh, it's very very difficult to uh, execute but you have to, you'll get used to it it's actually my first you know uh, one hand cut that is very difficult to practice but in time you will learn this okay again let's uh, recap just cut here middle finger when your finger adjusts and then the middle finger will just flick it out all right and you catch it so the catching part takes a lot of practice so that's it guys that is the scissor cut combined with the hot shot it's actually the hot shot but the the cut that i just performed is called the scissor cut so that's it guys that is called the hot shot thanks so much so that's it guys that is called the hot shot the cut that i just taught you is actually called the scissor cut and thank you so much for watching my video it means a lot to me and again i would like also to thank my followers on tiktok thank you so much Eleven thousand followers so if you are following me on tiktok please do subscribe to my channel as well and thank you so much for the time for watching my video again if you like my video like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel down below and press the bell button for the notifications for more of my latest magic videos so again this is me rio ben lardis i will see you in my next video stay safe guys